वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव अ न्यू टॉपिक रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग इट्स एडवांस टॉपिक लर्निंग दिस टॉपिक अंडर एडवांस मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इज वेल वेल एंड गुड सो विल गो टू दिस टॉपिक विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम द थिंग इज इफ यू हैव एनी कॉन्सेप्ट जस्ट यू कैन मेक इट इन टू बिल्ड और थ्री डी मॉडल्स एनी थिंग यू कैन मेक एंड यू कैन गिव वन फॉर आउटपुट्स इफ इट इज ओके यू मे गो फॉर प्रोडक्शन as you can see there is a 3d printer equipment is available with i don't know with pla or some other material and we are creating the product it's a net shaped product we are creating okay so this is possible through by prototyping rapid prototyping prototyping is a model rapid as you just go to dictionary and found out what is meaning for rapid then you will get a clear idea what is mean by rapid prototyping as the image shows that we are going to create the physical part or model or assembly section of any 3d elements by using the 3d computer aided design that is cad modeling if you have any idea you can create it in the system by using the approved software uh, most probably autocad or <coughs> pro e kata etc sometimes if the proto rapid prototype equipment manufacturer if they giving any software that also you can use or else you may use any free networking softwares and you can create the component then how you make them into real time uh, modeling me real time product means uh, you have to have the small communications with the prototype machine rapid prototype machine it is not necessary that the equipment must be with non metallic it's a metallic materials also you can use for creating the components depending upon the raw material and their condition we have different different equipments and we will see one by one in upcoming slides so let us come here what is the advantage or what is the need let me tell you in the olden days it is very difficult to produce new product because we have to put one team and they will spend lot and lot of time and we need a customized tools a cavities or uh, not cavities mold pattern etc we need and we have to define the manufacturing process again once a product is completed and we have to go for quality checking troubleshooting and all the testings we have to conduct then only we can come for mass production Yes. So creating this uh, single model, it itself it took two three months or more than that also, depending upon its the complexity as well as the materials condition and finishing etc etc. So scientists want scientists as well as the research people want to reduce this time because they need new product within a short period of time. For that they have developed this method that is additive manufacturing as well as the rapid prototyping. that's what it's called prototyping prototyping means they always going to produce one or two we going to check once prototype is succeed then only we will go for manufacturing so it's called rapid prototyping okay so here also we are going to produce uh, the same component as close to the original but it will be in prototype okay so this rapid prototyping having more advantage as compared to previous one because you can create the physical model within short period okay then if you have any alterations you can modify the system itself you can run the simulation you can check whether it is possible whether it's having any defects etc and not only the uh, 2d views 3d views also you can see front top all the views by simply rotating the mouse cursor you can see right and uh, it is a suitable material it can have handle all type of materials metallic materials as well as metallic non metallic both will be handled by using the rapid prototyping equipments i told you it have variety of classification depending upon the materials and their condition whether it's solid form or it's in the filler wire or it's in the powder form in or is in liquid so these categories we will see one by one so uh, there is a uh, few classifications are available under uh, edit uh, edit rapid prototyping let me check one by one so if you have cad models of this product you may go for additive manufacturing that is called additive method so first layer is formed again second layer is formed then so on is going and we'll getting the product another one is subtractive manufacturing 
or subtractive category that means you have a whole specimen over here by using the machining methods we are going to remove the material and finally we are getting the product another one is the compressive method in this method we have the mold in this mold we are putting the molten metal and by using the squeeze or technology or any other technology or process you can fill the, uh, the gap and the cavity so you will get the product so these are all the three classifications and one more classification is came nowadays that is formative as similar to the compactive section which is in the powder metallurgy we have the predefined uh, mold in that mold we are going to place the uh, material uh, in the form of powders then we are going to give the pressure so due to that pressure the compaction will take place then we are getting the product itself that it's have the shape of this die so it's called formative subtractive already we told and depending uh, by using the machining process we are going to remove the excess material from here to making the shape additive i told you layer by layer manufacture here one and two layers manufactured here third layer and here c four five etc manufacture as given in the input in the form of computers or 3d drawings or stl file ca file etc so this is very important so any cad model it will be in stl file conversion then it's going for computer and manufacturing if you need any bg code etc then it will go for final this is for milling machine similarly if you are using any softwares and computer means it will be very so initially for subtractive manufacturing we are having this much big material and we are going to do the uh, machining operations that means we are going to remove the material and finally this is the finished product and you can see the wastage is very high okay and another case in wrap that uh, additive manufacturing you may use powder form as well as filler material so if you take the how much amount of filler material uh, you are taking that will fully convert it into work pieces so wastage will be very very less and most of the cases surface finish also so good so no need of going for machining so it will be very best and most of the time students having any confusions you may refer kalbak jain book which is very good all the explanation are given in niti and this table also taken from kalpak jain book only i told you depending upon the material condition input condition you can also classify whether it's liquid powder or solid so liquid under the category we have a stereolithography solid based curing fused deposition method plastic particle manufacturing are available okay so in stereolithography we are having liquid layer curing that we will show the phase change type is photopolymerization and that is photopolymerization when we photon is nothing but light when you are ready to give a reaction towards light or uv or direct sunlight or etc means they are all fall under this category very simple example in olden days if, if you are in 90 kids you may know very well about the cameras we have the film rolls and when we are going to click the photo we have to click the button so that the exposure lens will be open the door will be open and light rays are fall on it will be captured on the film rays actually what is happening the light rays are coming and they damaging the film pad film roll then further going for developing process we will get all the details that's it so what are the suitable materials photo polymers acrylates and collaborable colorable resins and filled resins etc so solid based curing also the same type which having photopolymerization and photopolymers we are having so liquid layer is curing and we are going to give milling for making the final finished product but here milling is not coming because when you are passing the uv rays or laser right on the liquid it will start uh, giving the reaction towards the light and they became solid so layer by layer manufacture is achieved within one step here we have two step another one is fused deposition modeling and fused means two particle will fuse together then we are going for rapid prototyping as well as the manufacturing the component and here it will be fused and deposit over the plate so allowing them for uh, few few minutes or hours so it will be uh, cooled from liquid to solid that's it so the phase change is solidification by cooling normal cooling so abs wax material ceramics with binders are available and this type maybe you can see it in the normal uh, lab also all the colleges also they have 3d printing equipments with uh, cost around less than 1 lakh also you can have it 
and i have seen in nit tiruchi in production department and when workshop is conducting they have created the key chain etc and they given so ballistic type ballistic type particle manufacturing in this category as its first half of the name is indicating ball so as like the ball point pen dip the material whatever you using it's convert into that small particles less than that also so that balls are making and like a drop when you are dropping a liquid and it will became a spherical shape so that's what i want to say that uh, that shape is formed from the material which is stored and then it they going to with high velocity they going to uh collapsed each other and they, the layer has been formed so for making this formation we need x y z uh controls so most of the time x and y will be controlled by the servo meters and y z direction height will be adjusted by some other third party controls maybe servo motors or some other controls okay here also solidification is only done by cooling only we are not going to do any other extra things powders most of the time the selective laser sindering selective laser melting and they are all using powder form because if uh, lasers are having the ability to create more heat and if the powders are passing through this light it is possible to make melt the metal and making the layer there yeah, okay so if uh, it is in solid we need high powers that's what we are using fine powders to make uh, fuel fused okay so here also you can see uh, it is from liquid then again it's going to cool down is by use solidification phases as like normal cooling only so here the applicable materials are polymer metal powders with binders and here also but metallic materials also we can use as you can see these metals also available okay solid means laminated object manufacturing also they have put but you can add additive manufacturing there is wire arc additive manufacturing also you can deposit over here that wire arc additive manufacturing is mainly done by the welding process like uh, tig mig with the help of filler material as well as the cmt process also available you can make additive manufacturing because mig and cmt we had the filler metal as internal part but for uh, tig and plasma it will be in external part okay and for welding again it will be in liquid form then slowly cooling will be done okay where those other phase change will take place because of the cooling process